In Windows Server 2016, I'm going to show you how to set up a network printer and then how to connect to that printer from a client computer. So in Server 2016, we're going to right click and go to Control Panel. And from here, we're going to go to Devices and Printers. And now what we're going to do is click on Add a Printer. And I'm going to add a fake printer, but it doesn't really matter because it will end up being the same thing. So let's go ahead and choose the printer I want isn't listed. We're going to choose to add a printer using TCP IP address. And go ahead and click Next. We're going to uncheck Query the Printer. Now, if you actually have the printer there, go ahead and query it. That's fine. But we do not. This is just a test. So let's go ahead and put in a fake address. And we'll click Next. And at this point, it's going to go ahead and uh, take a little bit of a pause while it looks for it, and then it'll give up, and then we can continue. Now we can choose the network card type. You can hit the drop down and choose a specific network card if you have it. Otherwise, in 99% of the time, generic network card works just fine. Go ahead and click Next. And now we're going to choose the driver. Now, if you have a driver you've downloaded, go ahead and click on Have Disk and then locate that driver. If not, let's just go ahead and pick one from the list. In this case, I'm just going to pick a generic text-only driver, which is a really easy one to install. Click Next. And now we're installing the printer. Now we have the option to pick a share name. I'm just going to choose the default. However, you can certainly change that if you want. And you can also type in a, a location or comment if you have a big office so you can uh, help find where that printer is a little bit more easily. Click Next and go ahead and click Finish once you decide whether or not you want to set the printer as the default and also if you want to print a test page. Now, in our case, we don't actually have a real printer on the other end, so we're just going to go ahead and not print a test page. So there's our generic text. If we right click on it, we choose Printer Properties. We can see there's the shared name. And now if we want to have this added to Active Directory so you can search for it, and this is something you definitely want to do in most cases, just go ahead and check the, the box there and click Apply. And that makes it much more easy for users to find it because it will be listed by name. Now, if you have additional drivers that you want to put in for 32-bit computers, because this is a 64-bit server, then you can also check the box for x86. If you have a third-party uh, printer in here where you needed to download the driver, it wasn't included in Windows, then you'll be prompted to install the drivers as well. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that since we don't need that, and we'll just click Cancel, and we'll click OK. So now let's go to our client, which is a Windows 10 computer, and we'll go ahead and log in. Let's go ahead and click on the Start button and choose Settings. Now, you can also do this through Control Panel, but Microsoft is moving everything towards the Settings icon, so we might as well go ahead and do this. Let's click on Devices, and we'll click Add a Printer or Scanner. And look at that, it found our text-only printer on DC01 because it was listed in Active Directory. So we'll go ahead and click on that, click Add Device, and now it says it's connecting, and now it's adding it, and now it's done. Now it says that it's ready. So if we go and open up Notepad, for instance, we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll pretend we're going to print. We choose File, Print, and it sees our generic printer on the uh, DC01 server. So if we had a printer there, we could click Print, and we'll end up seeing our print job. So that is how you set up a network printer and connect to it in Windows Server 2016 and our client Windows 10.